In this tutorial, you will learn how to create amazing split-screen animation with Vegas Pro. You will need photo editing program in order to create this visual effect. I will demonstrate with Vegas Image and Adobe Photoshop. First, you will need to create the split screen itself. Create a 16 by 9 aspect ratio canvas, depending on your video resolution. For the sake of the tutorial, I will create 1920 by 1080 canvas. Once done, you can start designing the screen. Each screen represent one video, meaning one screen, one layer. Add a solid layer and use vector mask to start creating your own custom screen shapes. Tone down the mask feathering all the way to zero. Repeat the same process by adding another solid layer and create a vector mask shape for your second screen. You can have as many screen as you want, as long each of them visually cover entire 9 by 16 aspect ratio canvas. Once done, you want to batch export each layer as PNG format from Vegas image. Choose PNG and make sure export layers is enabled. Pick all individual export mode and use canvas size. Save it somewhere in your computer and press export. For Photoshop users, it's pretty much the same method when creating the screen. To save time, you can use custom shapes instead of using pen tool. As usual, each screen represent one layer. Once all of the screen visually covered the 16 by 9 aspect ratio canvas, you want to save each individual layer as PNG format. Now we can start editing with Vegas Pro. First you want to import the exported screen with the footages you want to use into Vegas Pro Project Media. Select the entire media screen media and right click, drag and drop into Vegas Pro Empty Timeline. A small pop-out menu will appear, click at across track to quickly place each individual media onto its own dedicated video track. Give each video track a name so that you won't get confused when editing later on. Add three more video track between the screen video track. Drag and drop the video clips you want to use onto the newly added video track. Once done, trim the clip to a certain length that you desired. In this case, I will match the video clip length with the screen media length. I highly recommend to change the newly added video track display color to matching with the screen media video track display color, so it's easier for you to recognize which video belongs to which screen. Next, you will need to convert all of the video tracks that contain clips into composite child, meaning a video track above it will be the parent track. Then, you will need to blend the screen media together with the video clips together. To do that, convert the parent video track composite into multiply blending mode. This will act as a mat so that the video clip below it will only appear within the screen shapes. Sometimes, the video clip that you're using will be offset from the screen shapes. You can easily fix this by simply reposition the video clip position using pan and crop so that it will align with your customized screen shapes. Finally, we can animate the screen shapes so that it will come into frame. Before we proceed, I want to minimize the video clips track so that our timeline look much more tidy. Now, click on the parent video track, track motion to animate the screen and video together. This will load up the track motion window, which is very similar to pan and crop window. Make sure sync cursor is enabled, so that the playhead in the timeline is synchronized with the playhead in track motion keyframe timeline. Start adding keyframe at the end point as well at the out point, depending on where you want the out point to end. Move the track motion out from the frame for the first keyframe, so it will animate the screen coming into the frame. Right click on the first keyframe and set the keyframe behavior to smooth and the second out point keyframe to slow. This will smoothen the split screen animation. Repeat the same process for the other two parent track motion. You can adjust the speed of the animation by increasing or decreasing the distance between the first and second keyframe. You can click the drop down menu on the parent track motion to see the keyframe that you've added via track motion window. I highly recommend to group the entire split screen media so that it is easier to move around in the timeline. You can also shrink the timeline even more by grouping the entire track. Simply select all of the composited track, right click and press track group. You can name the group track to keep things tidy. Congratulations, you just created an animated split screen visual effect with Vegas Pro. I hope you guys like this video. Till next time, goodbye.